My name is Nathan Vilnov. I'm a center for the Navin grads and I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. Nathan is your, you know, he's he's a player that his engine doesn't stop. He's constantly moving. He's a powerful, dynamic skater. Um, but he's also got a skill set that will allow him to, you know, allow him to almost lead the league in scoring as a 15-year-old in the HEO this year. Um, you know, he he's one of those kids that just doesn't stop moving his feet. You know, he's he's a relentless forechecker. Um, he's got elite skill to go along with it, but you know, I think if you talk to most people, talk about Nathan, it will be his his work ethic and his you know his compete are are above anyone else in this draft. I think I'm a two way centerman. I'm very competitive. I don't really like to lose. I can take care of the defensive zone to create offensive opportunities too, and I like to use my physical and my size to make sure I can get to the next level. My best hockey skill is probably my IQ or even my shot because I've been a, I've smart plays in the offense and defense zone, create opportunities and I think that's just one of my best qualities. I think the one one thing that really separates him is how hard he plays the game and you know he plays hard for a 60 minute game his feet don't stop his engine doesn't stop um, you know he's going to be able to step into the OHL next year and make an impact because of the style he plays and how hard he plays the game. I have a couple of players I relate my game to such as Mason McTavish and Nathan McKinnon. Mason McTavish is because he's a big physical guy which I like to be I don't I'm really competitive so when I get into the game, I like to use my body and hit people. I mean, Nathan McKinnon, because he's a really fast skater, smart player, and takes care of the defense zone very well. He, he's kind of had a target on his back, I think, all year. You know, being one of the, the top prospects, you know, when he has to play against the top teams or other teams, they're, they're gunning at him. You can see it on the ice that, you know, everyone knows when he's on the ice. So that's more pressure on him. And he's responded great this year. You know, he, like, he, he plays the game hard. He doesn't, um, doesn't take a lot of bad penalties. But, you know, um, he's definitely had a, a target on his back this year. And he's, he's responded great. So he's, um, he's ready, I think, in my mind, to step into our league and make a big contribution next year. One thing I've been doing off ice is training well. And then a big thing is nutrition. If you don't eat well, you won't be able to perform well. I've learned that over the past years. I used to not be a healthy eater, but when I became a better eater, I've noticed that my game has been a lot better since. It would be an honor for me to get drafted, undrafted to the OHL. It's been my dream since I was like four or five years old. Watching the 67s play my hometown, it's been unbelievable. And it's a great experience going through it. So if I have any advice, it'd be just go with the flow and be excited for what happens.